Alright, so these are the outside frame pieces that we're going to be using. Um, these are the support beams, 1x3. And this is the mirror, 2 foot by 3 feet. Um, as you can see, this is what we're going to be using. Alright, let's get started. Now we're going to move the saw to a 45 degree angle to cut the frame pieces at. We're going to measure half an inch lower uh, to allow the mirror to rest on the frame as seen later on in the video. We're going to cut four pieces. And this is the layout. We're going to put the wood glue on the corners to hold them together. Make sure it's square. Now we're going to leave this offset to allow the mirror to lay on the back side of the frame. Now we're going to cut the support pieces, also at a 45 degree angle. And now you can see us assembling it. We're going to use wood glue to hold them together. Now we're going to glue the bottom, flip it over and glue, uh, glue it down to the outside frame. Here we are adding some support brackets for some extra strength to it. And this is the final product of the frame. And now we're going to go ahead and remove the plastic pieces from the monitor. Now please use caution when taking apart a monitor because it does have um, capacitors and other things that can shock you. Um, so just use caution when doing this part. I didn't take anything off other than the plastic parts, which is the safest thing you can do. Now I'm going to spray paint a piece of wood that's going to go behind the mirror. Um, now when there's a black piece behind the mirror, it's going to be completely reflective, whereas usually it can be partly transparent. And now we're going to measure out the part we need to cut out for the monitor to go through. And now we're going to cut the piece of wood to fit the monitor. And this is what it looks like afterwards. Now we're going to do a quick assembly just to make sure everything fits okay. Now we're drilling some holes for some ventilation for the mirror. And we will now stain the framing before we assemble everything. And after staining it, this is what it looks like. Now we can go ahead and remove the protective covering to the mirror and get started with the assembly.
Now if you want to zoom the text in and out, you can either hit Ctrl plus to zoom in or Ctrl shift minus to zoom out. And that's about it to the building of the mirror. Uh, you don't have to go as big as I did. Um, it does can look better, but it's obviously going to be more work and more money to make it. Um, you can go smaller using the same concepts I use with the backing of it um, and the supports, um, but you don't have to. I definitely suggest putting the Raspberry Pi on the edge so it's easy, easily accessible if you want to edit it for any reason, um, but that's about it. So if you need to go back and rewrite the software, um, I have the video on how to set that up up here in the top uh, left hand corner. And if you'd like to subscribe to see the rest of my projects, um, click right here. Okay, thank you.